Obama's Affordable Care Health Care Act was dealt a severe blow today. The U.S. Court of Appeals of, a U of D.C. circuits delivered a huge blow to Obamacare this morning, ruling that the insurance subsidies granted through the federal federally run health exchange would cover 36 states for the first open enrollment period are not allowed by the law. The highly anticipated opinion in the case of Jacqueline Halbig versus Sylvia Mathers Burrell reversed a lower court ruling finding that federally run exchanges did have the authority to disperse subsidies. Today's ruling vacates the Internal Revenue Service regulation allowing the federal exchange to give subsidies. A large majority of individuals, about 86% in the federal exchange system, receive subsidies. And in those cases, the subsidies covered about 76% of the premium on average. The essence of the court's ruling is that, according to the law, those subsidies are illegal. They were always illegal and the administration never had the authority to offer them. According to an administrative official, however, the subsidies will continue to flow throughout the appeals process. The court's ruling agreed with the challengers who argued that the plain language of the law, which is multiple instances, limits subsidies and credits to any exchange established by the state does not allow subsidies to be dispersed in exchanges where a state declines to establish its own exchange and is instead run by the federal government. Basically, the federal government cannot step in and create and run an exchange that is somehow still an exchange established by a state. Quote, we conclude that appellants have the better of the argument. A federal exchange is not an exchange established by the state, and the relevant section of the law does not authorize the IRS to provide tax credits for insurance purchased on federal, federal exchange, the decision says. It's a major blow to the way the administration has chosen to implement the health law, and a victory for plain language and legal interpretation as well. On a conference call this morning, Case Western University law professor Jonathan Adler, who was an instrumental in laying the legal groundwork for the case made the point that this is not the court changing the law. It is the court interpreting the law in its clear language, which means that any of the rulings of effects, including the loss of subsidies, were built into the law when it was passed. Quote, if people lose their subsidies, it's because the courts rule that those subsidies are and always have been unlawful, he said. The administration never had the authority to dish them out. Halbig did not cause those effects. Those are the effects of the Affordable Care Act. If that causes dislocation, if that causes disruption, I think the responsibility lies with the IRS and the administration, Adler also said. A different circuit court ruled today that subsidies offered through federally run exchanges are authorized in the law. This creates a circuit court split, which increases but does not guarantee the chances of an eventual hearing by the Supreme Court. It also it is also possible and arguably even more likely that the circuit court split will be dealt with via en banc review. Read the complete decision online. More background in cases online as well. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.